approached, um, interviewed, and um, and decided to take the position because I really felt that the um, the culture here was very much in line with what's important to me personally. You know, it was a community community based organization focused on you know doing good things for the for you know the health of our community, taking care of patients. So it really resonated with me. That, um, I, I wasn't feeling this. I used to feel that when, you know, in the early days of, of SMS, SNS Siemens, but Siemens culture was, a little, was not so aligned. Um, so I came here because I, I was um, I, I really wanted to make a difference, and even though I wasn't you know, helping the patient directly, I felt that the work that I could do would uh, would make a difference, and, and have been found them to be extremely rewarding. I've been able to implement a lot of change since I've been here, and gotten a lot of support, and just just again the values of this organization are, I think, what keeps me here, the good people who are, are really committed in the values of the organization. Um, and I had worked in recruiting roles prior, um, I have a bachelor's degree, um, so I've been working in recruiting and human resources for, um, for close to four years now. Um, I, I mean, I think it has to, it's, it's all four, um, and different days or different times, it's one more than the other. You know, sometimes I do spend most of my time in more administrative tasks because that's just what I need to do. Like when I'm doing appraisals in, in, in September, I'm heads down and you know, writing appraisals, giving people feedback, um, you know, and managing salary increases. So at certain times of the year, I think I'm, I'm going to be focused on more, on one more than the other. But I think but I think any anybody in my in, in my level or my, in my type of role or any you know whether it's recruiting or whether it's the director of benefits, you got to approach all, all four. You got to be able to think strategically and, and what, you know, keep an eye out on what are we going to need to do down the road and what are the business objectives and what are the strategic what's the strategic plan look like for the organization and how can what can I do to and what or what can we as a function do to support that. Um, and you got to be a change agent because you can't stand still all the time. I mean, you, you know, it would be great if you, you just rest on your laurels, but Jack Lynch ensures that we don't as an organization, and that means you know we can't do that as a function either. Yeah. We're going to be we're going to be implementing the new applicant tracking system this coming you know coming soon because we we need to make some changes as to how we manage this, this huge number of applicants. We have to we have to do that, and it's going to change the way. Megan left the organization, Megan Gallione, um, she went to a place that's closer to her home, and Melanie Cordova, who, who um, worked at Brimmer Rehab, and just the nature of rep, transferred over, and she had been, she had your job, actually, as a summer intern for us um, a okay. couple of years ago, so she came back, yeah, but anyway, so Melanie and Julie's job are going to change, too, you know, how they work will change a bit with, with the new, with the new system, so as, as a leader, I've got to make sure everybody buys into it, they're contributing to the decisions, Like it is 